So when you're working fully a digital distance, that's you know anything 30, 50 feet to a couple hundred feet away from you. Um, you're going to be able to kind of see every single leaf, but you don't want to draw every single leaf. That's problematic. Um, instead, what you want to do is focus on texture and motion. So you look for the motion of the tree, the motion of leaves, uh, put some value down, and you put a texture over it. Here I'm working on a long leaf pine, and I'm just kind of following the direction that the leaves grow. When you work on something like with an oak, you establish the direction of all the branches, and you'll kind of notice that the uh, the branches and the leaves kind of have a similar motion. The leaves, of course, are in miniature. You can block out value for whole big areas that are in um, uh, shadow, especially when they're very dense. And then you can apply texture on top of that. That works really well. Um, so you'll notice that the angle at which branches um, uh, go off of each other is very similar to the angle that the leaves go off of the branches. So try to preserve that angle. And you can vary your textures according to whatever foliage that you're drawing. Um, the idea for bushes is that you treat them as a mass first. Uh, so go for the form, ground it, apply value, and then apply a texture last. So if it's like a curved row of bushes like I'm dealing with here, you'll get the form of the curve first, apply value, and then apply texture. And then, of course, context matters. Whatever's around and behind the bush uh, changes the way that you're going to draw it. So if you can um, include and work on edges and background at the same time as you're drawing a bush, you're going to be much better off um, with uh, your application of, of these textures in the middle distance. The tricky thing about it is that you're trying to approximate and, and create textures rather than draw every single leaf specifically. And that's where most people stumble with this concept.